In this video, we are gonna plant this organ pipe cactus, talk about cactus propagation and care, and tips and tricks on getting cactus for free. So this is a cactus that my neighbor had left outside their house. I'm assuming because theirs probably got overgrown. And this is a neighbor that tends to put things out in their yard, yard clippings to give away, which is great, which is why every time I drive past their house, I go a little bit slowly to see what they've left out. And they left this cactus out and uh, they even left this nice rag on it to help anyone like myself pick it up. And now I want to plant it. So having used a plant identifier app, I'm pretty sure that this is an organ pipe cactus. Normally it grows lots and lots of branches. Cactus are actually really easy to plant and transplant. You can actually see where it's got little aerial feeder roots coming out and that's where it obviously was in the soil. This was probably sticking out of the soil somewhat. Um, and these little, everywhere that a little spike comes out of a cactus is called an aerial. And those are also places where roots can emerge. So you can plant or transplant a cactus that doesn't have any roots so long as you make sure that some or several of the aerials are buried into the soil. So in this case, since this is quite tall, I'm gonna guess about two and a half feet long. It's gonna need to stay fairly buried um, to make sure that it can take the weight of the whole thing and not topple over. You could of course put a bamboo stake in to make sure it stays up um, if you do wanna keep the height. Um, but I wanna make sure that this little aerial root is buried. So I'm gonna want, this is about well, maybe a little more than six inches. I'm gonna bury it at least till there. I have got an area of my front yard that's got a real desert southwest feel, so I think that's the perfect spot for my cactus. I have another torch cactus here. Um, it's been here about a little over a year. It keeps growing little baby pups, which means it's pretty happy. But I just need to figure out where on here I wanna place this so that it's balanced, right? Now underneath all of this rock, there is, you can kind of see it, there's hidden irrigation. So this is a little dripper system. This comes on, um, we have it mostly turned off in the wintertime. It, it comes on three times a week um, in the warmer months. And it's just enough to keep these plants pretty happy. And I don't need to think about them. It's on a timer. So I feel like ideally, as far as balance goes, I want to put it here, but I just need to make sure it gets enough sunlight. As you can see, there's a little bit of a shadow from a lot of the bird of paradise that we have. It is just after one o'clock today. So this is sort of the height of the sun. It is winter time, it's February. So the sun is a little bit lower in the sky, but luckily that plant is pretty tall. So if you did put it there, it probably would be pretty good as far as getting enough sunshine. In the space of my indecision, the shade has come over and I think I'm gonna place it here beside this agave. I was originally thinking I might got, get rid of the agave, but seeing as that's so slim, I'm gonna place it beside the agave, like coming out of it. All things going according to plan, I'm hoping that will kind of create some pups, kind of similar to this one. And if it gets bigger, we can remove that agave later. So I'm going to need a hole that's at least, oh, I'd say six to seven inches deep. Cause like I said, I want to keep that aerial root um, in the ground and it doesn't need to be super wide, but I do want to add some cactus mix. So I'm going to make sure that it's at least two inches in diameter around to give it some space to grow. The worst part about planting things out here is moving this gravel out of the way. This is a, uh, I believe called California gold. And it's just kind of annoying. But thank goodness for gloves and tools. 
makes it a little easier. And now I have a weed barrier here, so I'm gonna need to cut a hole there as well. This is actually the worst part, worse than moving the gravel. I'm not gonna make you watch me cut this hole. Okay, my hole is cut. Now we just remove the dirt. Again, you don't need to watch me doing this. I should note as well that um, my soil is very much clay soil, which is not ideal for cactus because it tends to get very hard. It's moist now because we've had a lot of rain, but in the summertime, that will just get bone dry and it's called clay for a reason. It becomes super hard and cactus like to have a lot more drainage. Clay tends to get water cooled up. So I'm gonna try and remove as much soil from this little area as I can. And then I'm gonna try and like loosen it up as well. Um, but when I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a mixture of cactus mix and clay. And that should help the plant kind of adjust to this area, um, but also give it drainage. So doing a mixture is really good when you're planting in ground. So here we go. I've got my hole. It's looking at about 10 inches deep, which gives me plenty of room to add my nice, healthy cactus mix down the bottom. It'll give its roots lots of nice space to grow. Now cactus mix is a little bit, you can see it's really loose. There is sort of looks like lava rocks in there. It's got some sand. And the idea is that it never gets too compact. Even when I squish it, it's still nice and loose. Compared to the clay that came out of there, you squish this up and it's not great for roots. It just becomes solid. So by adding this cactus mix down the bottom, it's going to make nice aerated soil that will let the any moisture that comes on there It'll drain through properly. Um, it helps prevent rot and healthy root growth for cactus and succulents. I'm gonna add quite a bit of this in there because I can then move it around. It's looking pretty good. I'll take some of that clay out of there. And, and as mentioned, there's no harm in adding a little bit of the clay soil to the mix um, so the plant isn't shocked when its roots try and go other places. I once had someone at a nursery recommend that you do sort of a 50-50 mix, but I'm going to err on the side of this is really bad clay, so more cactus mix. All right, here we go. Using my, using the handy tool that was left out by the neighbor, uh, an old t-shirt. And like I said, I wanna make sure that this aerial root is in the soil. So it's coming up a little bit. I might move some of the soil there out of the bottom. I can just kind of take the gravel out, kind of move it aside because I do want that nice cactus mix to be on the sides of the plant as well. There we go. That's pretty good. And even with this t-shirt, I am getting spiked a bit. And I want to also think about what angle I want this cactus to be facing. So kind of, it kind of bends a little bit. Let's think about which way we want it to face outwards. I kind of like the look of this. Okay, this thing is actually um, standing up on its own. How's that look? My husband's going to hate it because he thinks I cram too many plants in here, but I think for now it's pretty good. Okay, I'm liking the placement. I'm liking the depth. I think we're good to start backfilling. I'm actually using my spade to prop it up 
because I'm doing this one-handed. I didn't bother to bring my tripod out um, and I'm just going to start filling this in with the cactus mix. Maybe a little bit of the clay. Get that mixed in there. Take the gravel out. Try not to get spiked. This is the fun stuff. The fun part of dealing with cactus. And once I've got that in there, it should start to hold itself up. I can get in that other area now. Still a bit wobbly. Let's leave that there for now. Good. I'm going to press this down. I'm not too worried. I wouldn't be pressing it down if it was all clay because you can see what clay gets like. We'll get a little bit of a mixture in here and press the cactus mix down, making sure that um, there's no air pockets because that is not good for root growth. They do want to be fully buried. Okay, we are in, we are planted. I'm liking the placement. We're not at too great of an angle. And what I'm gonna do is just clean up this area and put the gravel back over. And I'm not gonna water it. This is a cactus. The soil has some moisture in it. Um, it doesn't need to be watered. It's, it's gonna be quite happy growing here might take a while before its roots even grow. It was um, already calloused off, so that's the thing. A plant like this, you can chop it and repropagate it, but you do want to make sure that if you do that, you callus it over. For a cactus, you need to callus it over for at least a month. You're going to want to make sure that there is absolutely completely healed over before you repropagate it because they are very susceptible to rot. These plants are made up of a lot of water. That is how they are so drought tolerant. They hold the water in their flesh and they are able to survive long stretches of drought and no water because the water is in their body. So that also just means if they get a little bit of damage, outside water can cause rot. And here she is. I'm really happy with how this turned out for a giant free plant left out by the neighbors. I think it's going to thrive here. Um, I should note right now it is late winter, early spring here in California. It is February, mid-February. This is a great time to plant plants because right now we have no risk of frost. It's not too cold, but it's not also blazing hot sun, which is a terrible time to plant new plants. It's really hard for them to adapt to their new environment. So spring, early spring is a great time to put in new plants, no matter what kind of climate you have. Thanks so much for joining me today as I planted up my Oregon pipe cactus. Um, if you want any other tips and tricks about plant care, plant propagation, and how to get free plants, don't forget to subscribe. And also I'm on TikTok and Instagram.